Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 95 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And with this episode, we actually passed Final Fantasy VI Advance for most parts in a Let's Play. Now, Pong Tong was suggested by YouTube user MasterMojo101, and to get his level 10 weapon, you had to go to Battle Luo Castle in Chengdu. So, there are a few objectives you have to fulfill. Obviously, Pong Tong, even with a bit of training, his attack is terrible. But at least his Muso is pretty easy to train. Uh, I think we'll go with this Del, because it makes him look like he just got back from Jamaica. Alright, so in this mode, he can have up to five items, but if he was at max rank, he can have up to six. So I went with Tiger Amulet, Tortoise Amulet, Peacock Urn, Wind Scroll, and Elixir. Though I don't think the Wind Scroll is that effective, because he already has a long-range weapon in a staff. So I'm going to replace this with the Dragon Amulet, so we can actually have more Muso to use. Obviously, I don't want any bodyguards. So, to start off, what you want to do is take care of some of these guards around Luo Castle. Liu Han, and I believe Zhang Yi, maybe Yan Yan has to be taken care of as well. Your main goal is Zhang Ren. So, I'll explain on the way. So, let's get started! Luo Castle will become our bridgehead for invading Chengdu. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I know, we'll be ambushed. I couldn't care less. I'd rather not be buried at low playing pool. Then don't! Even though it is a fitting place for you, it's called like a fallen phoenix slope. And Pong Tong is the fledgling phoenix. So in history, he said that was the best place for him to be buried. Pong Tong's attack methods are a little bit insipid. Kind of reminds me of Baldo from Soul Calibur, like a lot of acrobatics. His third charge is a bit hard to control because you have to aim it directly at the enemy. However, if you hit the enemy, especially an officer, you can get like a lot of mileage in combos. Like it's very good, especially at the end. Like you can make opponents dizzy. There, finally I defeated Liu Han. So that's one. I think we'll go for Zhang Yi next. And he should be up here. So just defeat some officers around Luo Castle, and we should be able to taunt Zhang Ren. That's why I took the Dragon Amulet to get more mileage out of my Muso. You can keep tapping Triangle for the third charge and get like a very massive cartwheel going, almost like a cheerleader. But just remember you have the high propensity of missing and it just leaves you wide open. So just stop when you know that you're probably going to miss the enemy. That way you can use like the staff spin and render them unconscious for a few seconds. I'm not worried about Zhao Yun, he's on his own. Okay, we gotta keep trying to taunt Zhao Zhang Ren. And still not gonna open the gate. Maybe Yan Yan has to fall next. Yeah, you're gonna have to go down too, Yan Yan. Who came up with your name anyway? They seem a bit unsure about themselves. They should have just called him Chinese Baby or something. It would be nice if you captured him. Well, just try your best, everyone. I guess we can start the whole process of trying to taunt him. So I'll just have to get to the castle gate, and then see if he'll come out. Alright, Zhang Ren. You wanna face me? Come on, let's go! Uh, 
Uh, I guess I have to wait a while. Hey, isn't anyone going to challenge me? Hang Tong will fall by my blade. Oh, here we go. Now he's gonna be charging at us. Come on, Zhang Ren, let's go. I'm ready for ya. I'm ready for ya. I'm not ready for ya. So you have to refuse the duel, but now you gotta distract him. So we just gotta get him to get across this bridge. So as long as he's chasing me, that's good. Now you might want to keep him close, because he might actually just retreat back into the old castle. So I'll just keep him nice and close. Let him believe he's going to have a chance to jump at me. But little does he know I got a little plan for him. Oh, there's a bridge right over there. I hope the guy we weren't missing it. Come on, Pong Tong. I mean, Jong Ran. Let's go. You want to cross this bridge and face me and defeat me? Come on, you want to kill Pong Tong? Come on, you want some of this? You want some of Jamaica, man? Come on, let's go. Gotta try to face the bridge. Come on, come on, come on. Take down the bridge so the enemy can't escape. There, now the bridge should just shatter her into a million pieces. Okay, now he's going to retreat. Luckily, I'm faster than him. So I'll just do enough damage until he dies. And I'll probably take on some of his troops, too. If you have, like, a speed scroll, you'll have a greater chance as well. But this also works. Like, your normal speed will be enough to catch up to him. We must not fall behind. There, now we captured him. And with that, you should get your morale up and unlock Tornado Staff. So all you have to do is defeat Liu Zhang and finish the stage. So if you have any other suggestions, feel free to do so in the comments below. I'm taking any available suggestions, as long as it's not someone I already did. Okay, so I'm not worried about the enemy reinforcements. They're still a bit far from Liu Bei's camp. So before I go on to Liu Zhang, I should consider, like, uh, picking up the uh, Dim Sum. Because, you know, he still needs a bit more HP. And it's over here. I don't need the Muso wine. Hong Tong already has, like, a very high amount of Muso. I guess I should take out Young Y and uh, Gal Pei first. Otherwise, Liu Bei could be in a bit of trouble. Devastating. That's what I mean about the cartwheel being devastating if you can just center it around one mass. Did you see the combos I was able to get? That's why I was able to train Pong Tong's weapon pretty fast. So I just kept getting weapon experience after weapon experience. Constantly stringing combos. With the cartwheel alone. If you have good control of this guy, he can be one of your strongest characters. He doesn't do a lot of damage, however, he can string a lot of hits together. Which translates into more damage you could have done with, say, a Lu Bu or possibly Guan Yu, for instance. Alright, I think uh, Liu Bei should be fine. I'm gonna go straight for Liu Zhang right now. No sense in wasting any more time. Well, I guess I could waste a bit of time just to go to that item crate over there to the north. It might be something I need to unlock. Or upgrade, rather. Well, not unlock. Yeah, it's just upgrade. I got all the items. They're just not at the level I'd like them to be. I'd like them to all be at level 20, for crying out loud. 
But I don't want to pro action replay my way through it. Besides, I don't even know if I even have my pro action replay uh, cartridge anymore. Might have given that up? I'm not sure. Oh, I thought the item crate was around here. Maybe I just gotta go a little bit deeper in that little trench. Eh, whatever. No, it's over here, actually. It's like Pong Tong throws the staff when he's on horse. Alright, Lu Zhang, you may be related to Liu Bei, but I'm coming to get ya. Just nestle there in the corner. And he should fall by my staff. Infection! Beautiful. Oh, I got another one ready! Okay, these archers are a problem. I don't want to use all of it. Beautiful. That's the thing that's so overpowered about the cartwheel, because if you hit every blow, you're going to render them dizzy anyway, and you can do it again. Like, this is just death in acrobatics. It's like Pokemon, for crying out loud. If you know how to utilize it effectively. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Of course, just doing the cartwheel a second time, you may not be able to get all the blows. Ah, I almost had him finished off. Now I did. That did not take too long, actually. I still cannot understand how he can just simply float like that. But then again, like summoning wind in a Muso attack is a bit strange, too. Oh well. Oh, rank 3, nice. And there's the Tornado Staff, all in its golden splendor. So, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're going to get ourselves another weapon. See ya, everyone. Thanks for watching.